What's up friends? Welcome back to Mindy Doing Things. Today I am setting up my bullet journal for September. The bullet journal that I use is the Rhodia brand A5 dot grid notebook. I also use the Zebra Mild Liner Creative Markers. I like to use the Muji 0.38 gel pen. And this is some cheap calligraphy pen I got at Daiso. And I like to use a white gel pen. I'll link everything in the description below. The first spread we're going to do is going to be the September month at a glance, which is just a typical calendar view for the month. The dots on each page of this bullet journal make 26 squares left and right and 40 squares up and down. There are five weeks in September and seven days in a week. And so right now I'm making my five rows for each week. I'm spacing them seven squares apart. So after making five of these, these are gonna take up 35 squares out of the 40 squares on my page. I drew these lines to be exactly 25 squares across so I could fit five days onto this right hand page and the other two days will go on the left hand side. So each day will be five squares across and seven squares up and down. I basically always do my month at a glance spreads like this because I'm already super familiar with the dot grid spacing and I also just like the amount of space that this gives me to write down all of the events that I want to keep track of for each month. This might sound funny, but I always look forward to starting a new month in my bullet journal because I love doing this. Like I love doing this process, drawing all of these lines, making my month at a glance spreads, doing all of my other spreads. There's just something really therapeutic about it. So now I'm taking my black marker and putting a circle in the top left corner of each day of September. And all of the days that are not September, like the top two squares that are the last days of August and the bottom squares that are the beginning of October, I'm gonna fill those in with a different color um, just because it makes it easier for me to differentiate between the days. And call me boring, but this gray marker is my favorite marker like on the entire planet. I love the color. So now I'm taking a white gel pen and filling in the number of each date into the circles. I would recommend this gel pen to you guys, but I kind of feel like the ink is really runny and transparent. So I actually had to go over this twice for it to show up. But I will link the white gel pen that I usually use in the description below. So that way you guys buy a solid white pen and not deal with this runny one like I am. <laughs> I love the look of the white gel pen on the black circles though. There's something about it that's very minimalistic and modern to me and that is exactly what I'm going for with my bullet journal. I need to write in each day of the week and so right now I'm taking my black marker and just drawing in a gigantic bar across the top of my calendar so that I can later go in with my white gel pen and write in each day of the week. Oh, and side note, I know there are a lot of brands that are really popular for bullet journaling. Like a lot of people like to get the Moleskin or the Loistrom brand bullet journals, but I do not recommend either of those brands because if you're like me and you like to use a black marker, it will 100% bleed through to the other side of the page. That's why I like the Rhodia brand because the markers don't bleed through and the pages are not like cardboard thick. So this is the part where I feel like I'm being really boring because I watch a lot of YouTube videos of other people setting up their bullet journals and when it comes down to writing the month, everyone does something super creative. They do like crazy calligraphy or block letters and I'm just not, I don't know, there's just something about it. I'm just not super into it. I just like a really minimal kind of um, title, I guess. So underneath the title, I'm going to start my habit trackers and so I'm going to put in another black bar where I can go in with my white gel pen and write in habit trackers and I'm going to start all of my different habits underneath it. The first habit that I'm tracking is to study Mandarin. I want to do that every day because both my parents live in Taiwan and so they're not speaking English, which means their English is just going to get worse and if I'm not working on Mandarin, my Mandarin's only going to get worse. So I have to study Mandarin. I just use Rosetta Stone, but I'm not sure I would recommend that to someone that's like brand new to the language because they really throw you in like running, like no crawling, no walking, just running. Oh, and I also missed a row here, so I just added that in. Oops. 
English was my second language, by the way. So I've always been kind of self-conscious that I maybe have like an accent or something.、Um, do you guys think I do? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I actually really want to know. So now I'm just drawing in the rest of my habit trackers. I've counted three spaces in between each、um, section, and I'm just doing this ahead of time to kind of speed this process along. I didn't track this habit last month, but I'm gonna do it this month because I want to start reading every day.、Um, I certainly don't read as much as I want to or as much as I used to, and really, I don't have an excuse for that because I am self-employed. I work on my own time and I make my own schedule. So this month we're gonna read every day. The next habit that we're gonna track is to do art or work on some sort of an art project every day. I'm excited for this one because I feel like I never used to have time to do stuff like this. But like I said, I am self-employed now, so we're making time for it. And the last habit that we're tracking is to get out of bed by 8 a.m. every day. Like I said, for the third time, self-employed. Too easy for me to just say, you know what? I'm gonna sleep in today. It's totally fine, but it's totally not fine. I need to get out of bed. So last but not least, fill in the important dates for September. We have a week-long trip scheduled for Colorado. We're gonna go look at houses, and then Matt's birthday is on the ninth, and my birthday is on the twelfth. So I'm very much looking forward to spending our birthdays together once again. For the second spread of September, I'm going to go ahead and make another month at a glance page, where I've basically just copied the initial month at a glance page that we just made, because you can kind of see like where the lines are from the previous page because I press so hard when I'm writing. But the reason why I want another month at a glance page is so I can track all of my social media posts. While I do own and operate an online apparel company called Notorious Bastards, I do have another pretty significant source of income, and that is through my Instagram account, Bacon and Biceps. I have several sponsors.、Um, most of them pay me like a monthly salary on top of any commissions that I might make. So I do consider my Bacon and Biceps Instagram page to be a job. Now I track the posts and the stories that I have to do for each company that sponsors me, and it might look like a lot, but a lot of times I just lump a lot of the apparel sponsors into like a lifting video, which is something that I would have been posting anyway, just because I enjoy sharing those, and because of that, I think it's a lot easier. Like I know that once I write this down, it's gonna look like a lot, but it's it's not that bad. I also feel like having this is super handy for negotiations. So, in the future, if a company reaches out to me and they're like, "Hey, we want to pay you X number of dollars to do, let's say, two posts in the month," I can send them a photo of this and be like, "Bro, look at how many posts I already have to do. You're gonna have to do better than that. You're gonna have to pay me a little bit more because I am busy." But enough of the Instagram talk. Let's go ahead and move on to the third spread of September, and that is going to be my two lines a day spread. This is my first time doing the two lines a day.、Um, in the past, I've just done one line, and it's just been called like a daily gratitudes page. But the reason why I'm doing the two lines a day page now is because I need more than one line to write. And also, while I enjoy writing daily gratitude, sometimes I get to the end of the day and I want to write something that's more along the lines of like a daily reflection or just whatever comes to mind. You know, it's kind of like a two-line diary for each day. I will have to say that I do really enjoy writing, so I could totally see this turning into like. Three lines a day in the future, maybe four lines a day. Who knows? Maybe it'll just be a full-on diary. I I don't know. So now we're gonna dive into the first weekly spread for September. For my weekly spreads, I always tend to do the same kind of layout, where across the spread, which is the two pages, I will do eight rectangles. The first one being a rectangle that I'm gonna fill in the dates for the month of September, just for reference. And then the remaining seven rectangles will be for the days of the week for this first week. And then on the bottom, I like to do two long rectangles, and I use one for notes, and I use the other one as a to-do list. 
I've tried other layouts before, but I always tend to go back to this one just because I like the amount of vertical space I have for each day with this layout, and I also just really like to have a long section on the bottom for any miscellaneous kind of notes or whatever I want to jot down. Also, I tend to not risk trying a new type of spread and then not liking it because I've done that before where I'm not stoked on the weak spread and then it makes me like less stoked to use my bullet journal, which is not something that I want. So now that all the rectangles are drawn, I'm gonna go ahead and draw another line from the top of each rectangle that I will fill in with marker and use that to write in the month and also the days of the week. I usually just fill in these title bars with one solid color, but for this month, I guess I'm feeling kind of spicy and I'm just gonna break that up into two colors. So I took that marker and filled in the first two squares with the marker, and then I took my black marker and filled in the rest. I've seen other people's weekly spreads where they do like really colorful or really extravagant um, lettering for each box that they do for each day. And like it looks nice, but I don't know. I always just tend to stick back to a more minimal and modern look. But maybe one of these days I'll try something a little bit more creative than this. I apologize for the weird lighting, by the way. I recorded this in a hotel room where they had like three total lamps in the room and none of which were like a white light. So, you know, if this looks like I'm recording it via candlelight, I might as well have been. I do want to have more um, better quality bullet journaling videos in the future. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you guys want me to go over, please let me know in the comments because I've posted my bullet journal a few times on my Instagram, like in my stories, and I've gotten a lot of responses like, what is bullet journaling? Where do I start? Can I just do it in any journal? Etc, etc. So please let me know what questions you have because I do want to make more of these in the future. So right now I'm drawing in a little reference calendar for the month of September. I like to throw one of these into the beginning of every one of my weekly spreads because it gives me a much better reference for where I am in a month. This is gonna be the only weekly spread I'm gonna do for now because I don't like to do all of them for the month at the same time. I like to do one weekly spread and then take the pages after that to do um, whatever note taking I need to do for planning or brainstorming or what have you. And then once the next week comes, I'll make the next weekly spread and repeat this process over and over again. And I'm just doing a quick outline on all the rectangles with my marker just to give it a more filled in look. And I think that just about does it for this weekly spread. So that's all the bullet journaling I'm gonna do for now. I'm gonna show you guys a quick flip through of everything that we've done. I'm super happy with how everything turned out. Every spread is useful and effective in keeping me on top of my shit and keeping me organized. Um, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. But yes, yeah, subscribe. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.